Hey guys, welcome to another video! Now, if you're like me, you like to have a look at a game's character creation before you buy into it. And so we're going to show you that with Draconia here. Now, Draconia is not in early access. It is still in like a pre-alpha state, but there are some ways you can still get a hold of a testing keys for it. And I'll go over that at the end of the video. But for now, let's have a look at what you can make in this game. Now, there's a couple different species. There's the European dragon. There is the lindworm. There is the golem, this little elemental looking guy. And the griffin. Now, we'll start with the griffin. Up in the upper right hand corner, there's different poses you can switch between. So you can have a, a T pose or a more casual pose where you're decorating it. So you can see what he's going to look like in different kinds of different styles. Now, the colors are wide open. With the griffin, there's only the one pattern right now. But you can change whatever you want as far as colors. So like if I want to change these feathers on the neck, just like this, I can make it whatever I want. And different sections that you can color and they'll highlight to show you where you can change them and for the head here some of these colors are actually these little ones down here but same thing with the body you can change all these textures same thing with the legs the claws the beak Pretty much every single part. More details on the legs, the wings, the overall wing color. You can mix and match and make some really kind of crazy Skittles, crayon box looking characters, or you can come up with some really cool looking things like can make like a North American Robin looking griffin if you wanted to. And right now there's only the one model for the griffin, but they are talking about adding in like the ability to change your beak size and stuff. Now they don't have a whole lot of decorative elements for the griffin yet, but what you can change is you can give them ears. And they also have wing attachments, which are basically these extra long feathers. And you may notice that the default model doesn't have a tail, but you can give them a tail. So you can give them like a nice, give them like a nice cat tail. You can Give them like a fluffy cattail with some feathers at the end. And then you can give them kind of like this poofy tail. Which I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to represent. That's kind of weird. But then next up we have the golem. Now the golem doesn't have a whole lot of options available to him yet. Can't really change the pattern of him. He's just kind of this stone critter. You can change the crystals though. Make them look how you want them to look. By combining these two colors, you can come up with some kind of cool looking stuff. Uh, say I want him to look kind of sandstone. You can totally do that. Head decorations. He has this spine, which you can color to match you. And he can also wear a Santa cap. <laughs> now with the Lindworm, we start to get into more of the options. The Lindworm has patterns that you can switch between. And like a lot of the other dino games, 
when you choose a pattern, you're not stuck with that pattern. You can still color it however you want to. Change it up whole bunches. So every single aspect, whether it's the claws or the inner side of the mouth or the spots or the area around the spots or the belly, all of it. And you can also change the pattern of the tongue, which is kind of funny. So you can have this kind of like weird spotted tongue or just the same color as the mouth. And wings, you can do like these moth style wings or the, uh, the default fins. And you can give them horns. A couple different varieties of horns. There's these ones. These kind of behemoth horns. And for neck, you can give them like a frill that you can color however you want to again. And you can change the pattern to match whether you're doing the moth style wings or the fin style. You can have spines, more spines. Same thing with the back, spines, more spines. Same thing with the tail, spines. Now with the spines on the tail, the back, the neck, etc., you can also choose a pattern. So you can be just straight up like this and you can choose a color or you can do kind of striped spines. And again, you can change how the color however you want it to be. And then tail tip is interesting. You can have this giant club. Doesn't actually do anything in the game. It just is a giant club. <laughs> and then he also has this big old horn that you can have on his head, which is cool. You can color it however you want to. Make it match him. Flowers. So you can be like a midsummer lindworm. A gemstone on its head. Santa hat. For body, you can do these thicker spines. And the kind of cool thing is these thicker spines can be paired up with these thinner spines. It's not really the kind of look that I'd go for, mixing and matching the thick spines and the thin spines, but it is a thing you can do if you want to. And then for tail, you have the optional accessory of beads <laughs> which again you can color to be however you want and with this one you can also choose these extra kind of like glowing paint body marks which you can decorate yourself with all right, and then for the European dragon, the big one. This guy has the most stuff going on, kind of like you'd expect. They've definitely put the most work into him so far. So for patterns, this kind of pattern, this kind of pattern. And again, every single little aspect is colorable on all of these patterns. So you can really, really make it unique. And the wings have the same thing going, different patterns, and these patterns match the different bodies that you could get. But you don't necessarily have to stick to that. Like for example, if I go with this body and these wings, since you can color them however you want to, you can mix and match. And I can make these wings match the body if I spent enough time working on them. And the miscellaneous, I'm not quite sure what that does. I haven't found anything in that yet. And now for options. Oh, let me go back and make the wings match the body. All right, so for options, we have a lot of stuff going on on these guys. We have big old classic dragon horns, two horns, behemoth style horns, behemoth style horns by themselves, these big old antlers, these kind of antler type things, these really thin spines. 
And for Jaw, you can do these spines on the side of his head. Which, just like everything else, you can color however you want to. For nose, it's kind of hard to see in this dark cave, but you can do like this little, these spines on their nose. Including like a chromatic one that changes color based on your angle. And they have ears, which I'd like to see like some fins on the side of their head, like you'd see if like kind of classic green dragons, but for right now they just have these ears. Neck, we've got the spines again, long spines, more spines, same thing with the back, long spines, more spines, same thing with the tail, long spines, which can had their color changed. And then tail tip, you can have this kind of thick rattler looking thing. And for head options, you've got a lot of stuff going on. A really popular one that I've seen is this skull. I've seen people make some kind of dracoliches and undead dragons using this. This moth looking thing, flowers, another skull crystal, rainbow skull crystal. Do you want it rainbow? Or do you want it like this? And it looks like you can change all different colors of the rainbow if you want to, to have it be kind of textured. And a Santa cap. Looks like none of the others have patterns. Yep. Yeah. And the Santa cap, you can change the colors however you want it to be. And then for body, you've got these thick spines where, just like with the lindworm, you can mix the thick spines and the thin spines if you want to. These are technically different categories. Tail, you can do this kind of bone decoration around your tail. Or the beads again. And miscellaneous accessories is a wristband so far. If you want to, you know, color it gold or whatever, make him look like he's got some good bling. Uh, for the patterns, the kind of like body paint, you've got a cool tribal look or checkers. And these are also on his wings too. You can do the tribal kind of element or the checkers. And that covers all the character creation options. Now, right now, there's only these four species. The European dragon, the lindworm, the golem, and the griffin. But they have shown four more species that they're working on. There's the eastern dragon, the wyvern, the quetzalcoatl, and the behemoth. And they've been updating the game at a pretty rapid pace, so it probably won't be too long before more of these start popping into the game. Now, at the beginning of the video, I me did mention that this is a pre-early access game. You can find it on Steam, but you can't actually buy it on Steam yet. What you can do, however, is go to their Discord, which I'll have a link down below. And when you go to their Discord, they'll have the steps to get yourself a uh, pre-release game pre-alpha key and basically it involves you going to their patreon <laughs> it's as simple as that but you got to do it through their discord because of the way that they have it set up so go to the discord it's in the description down below and while you're down there if you guys could hit the subscribe button for me that would be amazing because i'm a brand new channel just getting started and every subscribe means so much to me Anyway, thank you again for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.